What's up, everybody? Little Fear here, and this is my Evine. Today, I have a watch review for you. I pulled it up on the website so you know what we're looking at to begin with. Um, so, this is the Invicta Men's 45mm S1 Rally over Overdrive Quartz Chronographic Ceramic Bracelet Watch. Um, it retails for $405. Uh, I got it. It's on sale right now for a hundred dollars with a $16 value pay and Yes, I got it on value pay um, This is the color watch that I got they have others here's a red and a white and here's a white on white and Here's a black on white. I kind of wished I had gotten that one, but I didn't anyway, so let's go down here to the specs um, It's Japanese movement um, case measurements is 45 millimeter thickness is 13 millimeter uh, bezel is a fixed bezel what does that mean that means it's not a dive watch the the top the this right here doesn't move um, let's see I keep saying um alright so clasp is a dual button deployment water resistant is a hundred meters And origin is Japan. Uh, I got it right here. Let's um, let's switch over so y'all can see what's going on. Here is the box it came in. So we're gonna sort of do an unboxing. It's not really an unboxing, but it is, but isn't. I've I've gotten it. I've worn it, so I know. I've already know. I already know how to how how it feels. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. Let me move this over there so I don't look like a retard. There we go. There it is. Okay, so this, well, it's not in there right now. But that holds the, they say warranty information, but I, 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 don't, I don't know. I've even looked on their website and can't really find a whole lot of information on their warranty. Uh, it comes with this um, microfiber Invicta labeled. You see that? Yeah, Invicta labeled uh, cloth to keep it clean. The inside of the box, this is like. It's like um, suede, but it's not. It's like a fake suede. It's cloth. You know what that might there's no way that that's real suede it smells like it though it this has this neat little logo in here see that that is really neat and then here is the watch um, I, I stuffed the here let's go through that right quick let's go through the paperwork all right so here is the Invicta warranty card thingy and here are the instructions. It's not really that, I mean, it doesn't really give you anything. This product's under warranty for a period of three years from the date of purchase. Warranty is only valid, blah, blah, blah. Reference number, serial number, okay. In the event of any claims and warranty, please return to watch to the retailer or repair center. Whatever. Okay. A buddy of mine who got me into these Invicta watches um, told me you can register them online and then you can pull them up. I haven't been able to find that. But then this is the instruction booklet. Um, it has a couple languages. We got English and Spanish. I think it's just English and Spanish. Yeah, just English and Spanish. And it just kind of goes through and tells you um, about the warranty and what how to, how to use it and stuff like that. So anyway, in here is my uh, bracelet band. So let's put all this away and get into the goodie. Into the goodie. Take it off the thing. Stick you in there for now. 
Okay, so here is the watch. Come on, there we go. That's the watch. This is a quartz watch. Um, it's not, what does that mean? Quartz means it has a battery um, versus an automatic watch that doesn't have a battery. This bracelet is, and I can vouch, 100% ceramic. How do I know that for sure? Because a friend of mine, my friend, has a uh, band sizing kit thingy, like a tool kit for it. And um, we tried getting it to fit. We tried getting one of the bands out of it and it wouldn't go. And he was taking his little kit and doing his best with it. <clears throat> and then I noticed a little chip sticking out of it. And I'm like, dude, you chipped my watch. He's like, no way, man. He's like, if I chip your watch, if I break your watch, I'll buy a whole new one. Thank God the one that he was trying to, the one that he chipped was the one we were trying to take out. So now that we got that taken out and I've got the watch all put back together, it's fine. And the reason that got chipped is because that specific piece, the pins were really, really tight, really tight. Like even I tried to get at it, I couldn't. And then my friend, my other friend, she used to work in a watch repair store. So she's like a pro and she couldn't even get it out. So he's like, you know what? Let me take it home and I'll see what I can do. So he brought it back the next day um, with the band removed well with that piece removed and because we thought we all, I only needed one one link removed well I found out I needed two but the next day he came with it fixed um, he also brought his kit thing with him too um, so I was able to change out another band another link um, by myself with no problems so it show it, it basically what that means is it, it proved that that one link just had a tight um, pin in it but anyway so this is how you open it there's two little things one right here and one right here you can probably see it on the inside a little bit better um, see what we can do here there we go see there's one there one one uh, there and then there's one over here and you just push those in push them together and it opens and that's how it opens and this clasp is really really good made good made it's good made yeah that's it it's really made really well stainless steel uh, the back of the clasp or the back of the case has some really neat stuff on the back of it it says um, Rally S1, chronograph water resistant, 100 meters, model number such and such, ceramic and stainless steel. But I believe that all the white that you see is ceramic. I believe that the bezel is ceramic, the case is ceramic, and even the, the screen, the front, I believe it's ceramic. I don't I don't I don't know for sure. It's got a tacky meter on it, which I don't really understand. That that's supposed to tell you how fast you're going. But you gotta use like the 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 street signs as you pass them going down the road. And you pass the little things down the road. Uh, mile markers, that's what they're called. Um, as you pass them. I don't I don't freaking know. Okay, so let's put it on. If you can tell, it's very easy to go on. And once it's on, it's not very big. It's kind of nice. It's not it's not gigantic. I mean, kind of nice, meaning, I don't know, it's different. Um, and it even shows the, the date number. Uh, it's the 26th and um, yeah 
So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to, um, to show about this watch. Except that I think it's really awesome. Alright, well, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.